Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I am your host, Melanie Studley. And my name is Seth, and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. And we are on day 29 of our mm. Infinity Marriage Morning Challenges. That's if you're right. new here, welcome. We have many episodes that are not the short marriage morning format, but this today is the short marriage morning format. Every day is the short marriage morning format. And like Melanie said, it's day 29 and we are almost to 30 days. And guess what? It takes 30 days to create a new habit or to break an old habit. Some people say 21, which we've already passed. And if you've made it to 30 days, almost 30 days, 29 days, then you are doing awesome. I guarantee that you have a better marriage for listening for 29 days. High five. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Ooh. It hit her tattoo. Speaking of which, we got some tattoos last Oops, you night. You can't see it. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> um, but but it's exciting. We're in Dallas, Texas, exciting. and we got tattoos on Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. celebrating two years of the Anatomy Marriage Podcast. Anyway, that's right. Every four things. Every marriage morning, we do four things. We do a prayer. We do a past gratitude, mm -hmm. a future hope, and a goal. I'm All gonna right. pray today. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> We'd like to hold hands. <laughs> Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all of our blessings. Help us to be um, helpful to the world today. Help us to be loving to one another, kind to one another, thoughtful, and to just spread love and joy throughout everything. Amen. Amen. I, don't pray I was just well. thinking of you because when I did like that, I'm going to put my hand on, my sh on your shoulder. I was kind of pulling your hair. And I was like, oh, I don't want to make her uncomfortable. <laughs> So I thought of you. Cool. Um, so pro. a past gratitude. Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday was amazing. Yes, it was. All of yesterday. We had lunch with Dr. Corey Allen, mm -hmm. which is amazing. From and Sexy Marriage wife, Radio. She's amazing. Corey and Pam. Her nails. They're amazing. Right. Well, I was very thankful for that and just how you and I had fun together. We related to one another. We ate at r two really great restaurants and mm -hmm. basically spent almost every single waking hour together and it was a fun day mm -hmm. thank you for being awesome and fun and engaging and part of the topic is today uh, we're going to come back to why yesterday was such a good day mm -hmm. future hope what is your future hope that i uh, sorry i really thought you were saying more about that uh our my future hope is that just that tonight <clears throat> our hot and spicy date night goes mm -hmm. amazingly like right. i'm so excited for it but i just hope that we do a killer job. At We're not room. going on a hot and spicy date night. We are presenting, presenting at the hot and spicy date night. We're doing night. three presentations, and I think there will be about Question 500 people there, yeah, which will hopefully. be super awesome. And we will nail it. We will seriously crush it. I'm serious. We will do good. I like your style, man. Thanks. Um, what yes, about you? Yes, that, that my future hope is mm -hmm. the same. We're so connected. Okay. <laughs> my goal. My future hope is, is that we do awesome today, and it's relatable. Yeah. Good. My goal for today is to get work done on labeled podcasts. I have got to work. Mm, she's got to work, people. And uh, I, yeah, my goal was just other stuff, another uh, other AOM Fun work stuff. stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, let's dive into today's topic. The topic today, which I don't even think I announced, mm -hmm. is arousal, mm, and we're talking about it. And arousal is an interesting concept because mm. we, when we hear the word arousal or aroused, we think of what? We think of sexual arousal mm -hmm. like, like this turns me on or whatever mm -hmm. but we don't often think of like <clears throat> like an arousing arousing mm -hmm. uh conversation or mm -hmm. like playing tennis or yeah I don't, I don't always bring up tennis i don't even play tennis but things that sort of no, ignite maybe your, that arouses you yeah. Yeah. things that ignite your entire body like mm -hmm. your brain and your body and everything kind of clicks together right so we wanted to talk about arousal in a new way because uh, specifically non-sexual arousal because mm -hmm. I have found um, through a friend of mine who tells me things I'm just <laughs> I was just being silly that if uh, if I have all of those things lined up non-sexual arousal like stimulating conversation mm -hmm. um, things like swimming body like body stimulation mm -hmm. so like the mind and the body Mm -hmm. And then uh, connect it to a relationship, so mm -hmm. sort of like spiritually type things. Mm -hmm. Then my sexual arousal is much more likely to be inclined to be engaged. Right. That makes sense. Yes. And even as a therapist talking about arousal and stimulation, I think just culturally we think of, we think of sexual things, right? And just like you said, when we are, yesterday, okay, let's kind of break down yesterday. Yesterday, we had conversations with really smart people mm -hmm. who we look up to, who we appreciate. We had really good conversations between you and I. 
We ate really amazing food. Food, yeah, that was that was stimulating. Mm-hmm. Taste buddily. Taste buddily. <laughs> Taste bud buddily wise, we uh, we were physically stimulated. We were intellectually stimulated, and we were, I think, creative too because mm-hmm. we were talking about other ideas in the podcast realm and like mm-hmm. books and stuff like that. Our hopes, our future hopes, all right. those things. So yeah. it was it was like. Everything. Join together, kind of laser beam focus on very certain things. And then we did something that we both love last night. Went to another great restaurant mm. in, down in Dallas. And we got tattoos afterwards. And it was just super fun, relating, low-key, great Valentine's Day, right? Mm-hmm. So how can you guys pay attention to your... Oh, this is interesting too. An arousal cycle. Can you speak to the mm-hmm. arousal cycle? Yes. And this I- is... Oh, go ahead. This is all from Emily Nagoski's book, mm-hmm. Come As You Are. But there are arousal cycles. So, you know, like it's not like a, you can have a peak and then constantly stay there. It's mm-hmm. a cycle. Mm-hmm. Like getting hungry. Um, it will come back later uh, if you don't just constantly eat all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, what else did you want me to say about that? Sorry, it's a good drink of coffee. Uh, the, the arousal cycle... Like in a typical day, say that you you wake up, you know, your alarm clock stimulates you to wake up, then your mind starts going of what you have to do, and then sometimes we can get in a peak, well, we can get in a in a plateaued peak state where we're just going, we're thinking about one thing only, and then we're not really aroused in another way. So I want you to pay attention to your arousal cycle, sexually and intellectually and physically like after you work out you're physically aroused you're mm-hmm. physically stimulated your mm-hmm. your blood is pumping your 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 um you feel good. your capillaries are dilated your your you know your you, you got a lot of things going on so i think it would be we should do a whole podcast about this about different arousal cycles and how those arousal cycles relate mm-hmm. to one another and what we want to see more of and what we want to see less of because we can become aroused and this is called flooding right by dr john Gottman's work flooding when you're in a in an argument or something then you don't you're not thinking correctly like from, a bad kind of aroused. like a bad cl- kind of aroused like That's, punch holes in the walls aroused yeah or or scream or do whatever <clears throat> in an argument um, mm-hmm. what what can you what can you do to stop that arousal cycle what what can you do to identify your triggers mm-hmm. and what you need to do to uh, um, deactivate those triggers take a break walk around do whatever mm-hmm. so yeah that's a that's a really good thing Great segue. Sorry, um, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to just reiterate the idea, though, that often in culture and society, we're not taught to think of arousal positively other mm-hmm. than sexual arousal. Mm-hmm. And um, I just noticed personally, like, if I have, and, and so this might sound really strange, I don't have to have a rousing conversation with Seth to have it eventually turn into sexual arousal with Seth, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like having a job that you love, like no joke, I love audio engineering Mm -hmm. and it makes my brain light up and I love it. So it's something that when I do my work and I do it well, I feel better in my brain and my body. I feel more connected. I feel aroused. Mm -hmm. And then that arousal can then be focused toward Seth. And I know that sounds really weird. People have It it doesn't sound weird. Let me give you an analogy. So you better hurry up. It's 827. Here's a cliff, right? And over the cliff is like sexual arousal and uh, um, uh, being engaged with your partner, right? So all these other things are pushing you towards that cliff. Like a great work or a stimulating conversation mm-hmm. or food or anything like that. It's just pushing you towards that and then it makes it that much easier for you to go over the, I guess, Precipice. sexually arousal cliff yeah. kind of thing, if, if yeah. that makes sense. So that's not weird at all. It just mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense to me. All right, let's wrap it up, sister. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that that is really a, a good point mm-hmm. that it's sort of like an accumulation of things. It's like a snow plow plowing snow eventually so Mm -hmm. much gets on the end of the snow plow that it piles off Mm -hmm. into sex (laughs) anyway (laughs) have an amazing day thank you for joining us uh use hashtag marriage mornings to tell us what you're doing every single day Mm -hmm. and um wish us luck at our hot spicy date night all right videos coming soon bye